I'm going to start digging. I've been digging for weeks anyway. I'm going to start. I'll, I'm going to find something worth money. The kids that were really obsessive about saving those are absolutely. So do you buy the new ones now and box those up? Sure. Absolutely. Then, or rather, not un, not open. Don't touch them. them. Just be ready to take them with you for 50 somewhere. years. And, hey, yeah. cold enough for you? Yeah. Well, it yes. Was, yeah. It was a little chilly. Yeah, yeah, we had school closures, the whole thing. Fraser Park right now is still at 28. 46 Wasco, 46 Bakersfield winds. Gusty in spots and others, not so much. Here's the time lapse from Tehachapi. I'll get out of the way. You can see what happened. Oh, yeah, we had, uh, what, two or three inches of snow in spots, maybe four at the higher elevations, and it continues to be cold. That snow's not going anywhere. And currently, the temperatures in this area are chilly. But not everyone's below freezing, but Tehachapi is. 30 degrees right now, dew point 28, winds are west northwest at 14. It feels like around 23. So thank you, David Rios, for sending this in from Bear Valley Springs. That's what that stands for. The wind blown frozen precipitation. It's called kind of a snow ice mix, right? It was really interesting there. Tobias Peak today, what a gorgeous view of the snow on top of the trees. And now we just have scattered clouds to worry about. Our high today, surprisingly, you probably missed it, 50, 52. 47 is what we have now, 57 is our average for this time of year. We won't get there until much later in the week. Oh, boy, it's cool, huh? 41 at the Grapevine CHP location, 26 at Fraser Park, 30 to Hatchapi, and everybody is in the mid to upper 40s. Wind speed's not much of a factor here on the valley floor, but in Mojave, it's blowing at 39, consistently sustained winds, gustier than that. I was driving in here last night when they closed the Grapevine. I had the pleasure of making it a three-hour commute instead of two from Los Angeles. You know what? It's still windy, and the winds are making that wind chill drop into the low 20s in Mojave, so it's cold there. And we have clearing skies in some spots, and others will remain partly cloudy. So if you really get the clear skies overnight, you will get what? The freezing point, okay? Not much happening the entire state of Tuesday, of Wednesday, but then on Thursday, another one blows into the northern tier, but mainly north of Sacramento and not much further south. However, next Sunday, almost the exact same timing, another chance of some rain and snow into Hatchapi. So you miss school today. It might happen next week as well. All right, highs tomorrow, struggling to get to 50. Overnight lows between 30 and 34. Northwest winds 5 to 10. And then 46 at the lake, 40 in Glenville. Note the overnight lows, 18 to Hatchapi, 20 at Fraser Park, and highs only in the 30s. Desert regions, not that windy, thank goodness, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And some places will just go above 50, meaning California City and Ridgecrest. Here are the next three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Get shopping. Are you going to go to the mall where the madness is? I'm going to skip it this year. I went last year and I was like, okay, what am I doing here? <laughs> Upper 50s on Tuesday and then Thursday, I'm sorry. And then as we get toward the weekend, look at that. 62 on Saturday before the next one rolls in. For now, for Bakersfield, just a 30% chance on Sunday, Monday. Highs dropping off into the mid-50s again. Kern River Valley, we're not predicting any snow for Lake Isabella, but it will turn substantially cooler. Overnight lows below freezing until Friday morning. How about that? Also in the mountains, temperatures look cold and more snow more perhaps snow. for Tehachapi on Sunday, Monday. The secret is go early. Yes. When the doors open. I can't do it. I'm not up early. And well, someone can like you. You have to get out of bed. You mean like 10? No, like 8. Oh, no way. Right. Not happening. Yeah.